Hello and welcome back to our eight part video series on how to organize the folders on your computer. I'll be showing you a few different ways to purge duplicate files today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. This video is part six in the eight part series on how to organize the folders on your computer. Today, I'll be showing you different ways to purge duplicate files as you're starting to organize your folder structure. This tends to be one of the things that scares people the most is trying to find the duplicates, get rid of duplicates. And I'll show you a few different things that you can do ranging from having the computer find the duplicates for you as you move things or doing special searches to find duplicates and organizing the files in such a way that you can find them quickly, or getting a program that can do some of the work for you. We'll start where we left off with the last video. What you're seeing is a split screen on the left-hand side is where my files are coming from, and the right-hand side is where my files are going to, my new folder structure that I have built through this process. I'll start by showing you what the computer automatically will do when you try to put duplicates in the same place. As you can see, I have a group of documents that are already on the right hand side. I've already moved them into my folder structure. And now I have another folder that I'm going into and I want to move some documents from that over. So I'm going to grab those and any of these pieces, if you need a refresher on the split screen, or how to select multiple documents at once. I'm gonna fly through that on this video because video five has all of the steps on how to do those things. So I'm going to grab a group of documents here, move them over like I normally would from the last video, and we'll see what happens. Here we can see, and I'll move my picture so that you can see this fully. Here we can see in the middle, that there is a message from Windows that I have some duplicate files. This is a great feature that's automatically built into most PCs. And what this tells us is we have a few different options of things to look at. We have eight files that have the same names. Now that is the one thing about this kind of duplicate finding. It will find things that have the exact same name, but it will not find things that have different names. So if you have something that's the same document, but you named it differently, this type of system will not find that. So that's that may be one consideration when you're thinking about the different options that I talk about today. So our first choice is to automatically replace the files in the destination. If you know that the folder that you're coming from right now is gonna be the more up-to-date information, then you can automatically do this. If you're not really sure, um, or you know that these are going to be more outdated ones, then you could skip these files. They will remain in the folder on the left hand side. They will not come up in the one on the right hand side. So remember, left hand side for me is where it's coming from, our old location, and the new location is on the right where it's going to. And so if I was to skip these, I could then go into my old location and just delete those eight. Lastly, we have the choice to let me decide for each file. I like to do this option every time just because it gives me more information. So when I click on that option, you can see this box pops up here. And again, we'll move the picture here. So what we're seeing is this is the from location on the left, just like my screen is, and the to location on the right. So it is showing me this is what I have on the left it was last edited on 4.6 at a certain time. And you can see the right-hand side actually has the exact same information. So we know that this is an exact duplicate. And so you can scroll through all of them to check and see if each one is the same way. In my case, they are all exact duplicates. So I could choose to either keep the ones on the left, keep the ones on the right, we could even at this point, click down here, skip eight files with the same date and size. That means it would leave everything where it was. That's an option as well. And you saw the skip files as an option before. This gives you another chance for that. And you can do this 
however you'd like. If you have some that are different, we could choose to keep this one on the left, but then we need to keep this one on the right. Or maybe we need to keep this one, and then we also need to keep this one on the left. And you may have some instances where you actually want to keep both and you can check both of those. You also can use these at the top. So if you see everything is straight duplicates, we can clear check marks or add check marks to the entire column with these at the top. So I'm going to choose that I want to keep the ones that are coming from the left-hand side. And that way it will just replace the ones that are in my new folder structure. And that way I don't have any duplicate files created in my new folder structure. There may be instances where you need to do that, where you need to have some duplicates and that's perfectly fine um, until you can dig deeper into them. But this is the first step. You need to just decide what you're pulling over. So I'm going to choose to do that. I'm going to click continue. It will take a moment for it to do it. In that case, I chose to move the ones from the left. So they disappeared there. And then we come over here and it will automatically have highlighted what it moved over. So that's how the computer will try to deal with duplicates for you. Another way you can search for duplicates is just that. You can do a search or you can use the columns in your file explorer. I'll show this next. For this way of searching for duplicates, I only need my new location up here. And I can use this search bar right up here in the upper right corner to search for duplicates in my new file structure. Now, if you want to search your entire computer for duplicates, you can do that as well. I would recommend on your left-hand bar, you may have to open this up, this, this PC area. You could choose to search all your documents. If you're really not sure where everything is, you could search your entire PC, but it's the same process. You're gonna use your box up here to do a search. And you're going to need to search by words that are pretty specific. So you wouldn't want to search by the word invoice if you have tons and tons of different invoices. You would need to search by maybe a client name or a vendor name. And if you think you may have multiple different versions of documents with different wording, then you want to pick the word that you know that you would have put in every single name. When you're searching, don't use too many words. Only use two or three. And if you know that a phrase is used, for sure, in all the different versions of a document that you created, you can put that in quotes. So if I know that it says Harvey invoice, I can do that, put it in quotes, and I know that I would have written it that way. You can see that actually doesn't bring any results here, but that's the way you would use the phrase is put quotes around it. If you just want to search for a certain word, let's do the word subconscious. And we can see it's starting to present a list for me of what is coming up. But if you want to see that in its own page, we can hit enter or hit the arrow either way. Give it a second and it will bring these up here. And so that's a quick way to be able to see if you have some duplicates. If you're needing to know where are these, I can do a right click on it. And I'm looking for open file location. That will take me directly to the folder where this is located. So that's a neat little trick when you're doing some duplicate finding and needing to check documents and things like that. To go back to where I was, the easiest thing to do is hit our back button up here. Another way that you can use your file explorer to try and find duplicates is by using your columns. We can organize by name. That's usually what the default is, but you might not have yours that way. You can organize by name to try and get duplicates together. You could organize by date modified. So if you know that they were all modified around the same date, then this might bring it up a little bit better. You can organize by type. That might help you find duplicates that are all the same type. And then another one that can be helpful is the date created. That is not a default in the file explorer. So what we can do to add that is if we right click anywhere in our top bar, we can even right click on one of these, we can add date created right here. 
I add that, it automatically pops at the end. And then if I click on it, I can organize by that. And you've got your little arrow here. If you wanted to even filter it further by a specific date. As you can see, the file explorer gives you a lot of different ways to organize your data and be able to sort through it. The last thing you can do for finding and purging duplicates is using a duplicate finder program. Now, I prefer the first method, which is to try to merge things together and let the system do a lot of the work for you first. Then I would probably prefer that second method of doing a search or organizing by columns to find different duplicates. I find that I personally just, I want that control over everything. So if you're that way, you might wanna do that. Um, if you are someone who has so many documents and files that you just can't even imagine doing it the long way like that, that's perfectly fine. You may wanna look into a duplicate finder program. For PCs, I have heard Easy Duplicate Finder is a good one. And for uh, Macs, I've heard that Gemini 2 is a good one. Uh, I believe both of those cost, but in this case, I think it's worth the money. There are free options out there, and you're more than welcome to check those out as well. I would do a search in Google or whatever search program you use on Best Duplicate File Finder for, and if you have a PC, you can put that, or Mac. Most of those duplicate finder programs will give you a list of the things that it found, and then you can go through and choose what you'd like to do. No matter which option you use for purging duplicates, give yourself plenty of time for this process. You want to make sure that you get it done right and that you have the time to make sure everything is the way that you want it. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions there and I will get back to you as soon as I can with an answer. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to subscribe by clicking the red button below. This is especially important if you're following along with our video series here. And once you click that red button, you'll see a bell icon. If you click that, then you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.